Hi guys, my name is Karen and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade VCO. Here I'm using 427 grams of old coconut and 1 liter of warm water. So first step is to add the water into the coconut and then you have to mix them well. Next is to pour the mixture over the strainer. Next is to squeeze the coconut to get the coconut milk out. Put the residue to another container. And we're going to filter it one more time to ensure that there are no more residue left in the coconut milk. Then pour the coconut milk into a plastic. beside your fridge for 3 hours next is to throw the second layer away and keep the top layer then transfer it into a plastic next keep it in a closed container and place it inside a shelf for a day You can see that there are three layers formed, but we're only going to collect the top layer. Poke a hole at the plastic using a straw, and you collect the top layer. Now we're going to filter the coconut oil using a funnel, cotton, and tissue. And there you have it, your homemade VCO. So I got 45 grams of VCO, and to calculate the percentage yield, you'll have to use this formula. So for my percentage yield, I got 10.54%. Now I'm going to explain a process that I used during this video called filtration. Filtration is a process used to separate insoluble solids from liquids using a filter medium that allows the fluid to pass through, but not the solids. In this case, the coconut oil is the filtrate, and the stuff that is left in the filter is called residue. Now I'm going to explain the different layers that are formed. Here's an example. Different layers are formed because they each have different densities. The denser part will be the bottom layer, and the less dense will be the top layer. Here are some tips for you. The first one is to use a very old coconut since it has the coconut oil. If it's not old enough, there will be no oil. Second one is to use a warm water instead of room temperature water to fasten up the reaction. The third one is don't use too many cotton or tissue since they can absorb the PCO. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video and do give it a try at home. Thank you and goodbye.